Good morning once again. You're welcome back from the break. It's New Day here on TV3. And now let's talk a bit about promoting equal rights and economic empowerment for women. Uh, women in Ghana make up 51% of the population, yet we still see an underrepresentation in all areas of decision making. What can be done to change this? There, we're also speaking about the violation of our human uh, rights uh, for women and children as well. And it's still an issue and a topic for discussion. And so for us to get uh, deeper into this and to understand the project that's ongoing for uh, an advocacy, we're speaking to Miss Mina Mensa, who's the head of Africa Commonwealth uh, Human Rights Initiative, as well as Nana Yamfua Amwa Seshi, um, who is the director of public education at Shrize. You're welcome to see you through New Day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? We're good, and you? I'm <laughs> very well, thank you. Let's get straight uh, on to the, the project that you have launched. Let's l um, learn a little bit more about it. I believe, uh, Mina, would you would like to take that? Okay, thank you very much. And good morning to viewers and listeners. Um, the project um, is sponsored or funded by the Netherlands Embassy in Ghana. And basically, we are trying to promote equal rights, equal opportunities. Mm. for women, ensuring that their human rights are also respected. One would say that in recent times there's a lot going on about women, so yes. why, and it, it seems that um, we are on an equal footing with our male counterparts, mm. and so why are we making noise about that? Yeah. But you see, it's a fallacy. The nuances, the obvious is like, oh, women are okay, yeah. but what are the nuances? And the fact is that we are women are being really discriminated against mm. you look at our parliament you look at um our government agencies public yeah. life and you realize that although we form the majority we are woefully underrepresented and in recent times the abuse is very very subtle mm. you don't see it mm. the obvious well the obvious ones are there because when you go to dofsu you find a lot of reports yeah. but it's very very subtle so you don't really see that it's in your face like okay. it used to and so we at the commonwealth human rights initiative decided that we needed to collaborate with all other agencies because there are other women's rights organizations That's who are well. also doing a lot of work that in that area but we thought we'll look at the equal rights bits and okay. equal opportunities for women so that um, women themselves will be educated, will be encouraged, mm. and then society, because you see, it's because of our patriarchal society yeah. that issues happen the way they are. If a woman is going up in life, it's more like she's or your baku kind what, what of. What does that, that mean, sorry? A, a is like a woman who wants to be a, a, a cockerel. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I get that. a hen who wants to be a cockerel. Oh, cockerel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes it's the society and the way we've been socialized mm. to think that we ought to depend on the men mm. or ought to be the ones following the men. So the opportunities are not equal, even in the house. How many yeah. men would say that? Okay, let me take care of the house while how while you push yourselves forward. Mm. Very very few of them would do that. Mm. Whereas, on the other side, a lot of women would w like to sit back and let their men go forward, do all the things that they want to do, educate themselves, get yeah. promotion, be out there. But the moment a woman starts doing that in the home, it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem. Yes. So that is why we are trying to educate all of us, including our men, to mm. support yeah. their women for, to come out. Mm. Because sometimes men complain that it's the women who do not want to come out. But at the point is, if I come out and then I go back and I'm supposed to take care of the child, I'm supposed to cook, I'm all supposed to do all the house chores, indeed. you know, how do I combine that and come out at the same time? Mm. So that is why we are doing this project to educate both men and women mm. that because of our socialization, women need to be supported to be able to come out and do the things that they have to do to ensure that development is attained. After all, mm -hmm. if women are um, educated the same way as men or have the same opportunities, we would achieve all the sustainable development goals. That goals, says that exactly. we should not leave anybody behind. Yeah. So that's why we are doing this. And even um, in the constitution of Ghana, everyone should be treated equally. Exactly. There shouldn't be any discrimination 
discrimination, discrimination of any sort. Um, now, now let's look at it from your angle as well. You're with Shraj. Mm -hmm. What has, um, how, what does it look like for women as well, and what is Shraj doing in this project to help? Hey, thank you. Um, what we are doing to help is, as you see me sitting here this morning, yes. <laughs> we are doing a lot of education yeah. Yeah. because we um, have been blessed with offices all over the country. Mm -hmm. So part of our and public education, educating the populace is part of our mandate. Okay. Even though we, we do have a threefold mandate, but the educational part is kind of quiet, in but indeed. it cuts across. Okay. So in, when you look at our districts, when you look at our regions, and even what we do at the head office, we're yeah. supposed to go out and educate, mm. cutting across from the grassroots yeah. right up to the tertiary or, you know, mm. leaders, political leaders, if need be. Okay. So that, that, that is what we do. We talk about women's rights. We talk about uh, children's rights. Mm. We kind of do that in our traditional language, okay. not English. Okay. So look now where you are standing. So they can understand better. So they can understand better, yeah. better and contribute. Because like Amina has rightly said, if you leave the women out, then you are leaving 51%. 51% of the populace out. Mm. And then you remember what uh, Kwejraga said, when you educate a woman, you educate a nation. Exactly. When you educate the man, it's just, just one, one person. person. Because when the children come home, it is you, the mother, they are going to ask. Mm. And if you are not educated well enough, how do you answer all these questions that yeah. children come up with? Because you are the ones at home with them. Yeah. So it is essential, and that is what we are doing, telling the woman. But has it been difficult? It is, it, it is not easy. And do you easy. see change? Mm -hmm. The change is gradual because with the women, most of them are in the marketplaces. Yeah. They are not ready to leave their words to come and listen to you. Mm. So what you have to do is to go to them mm. and then talk to them as they are, you know, continuing with their trade. Yeah. So women, women, we, we, we are funny in a, in a way because <laughs> you think your first thought is about the family. Okay, right. I know with men too, but generally with women, That's when you get money, the, the first things are the children mm. and the, you know, yes, we like our cloth, we like the, our chains and things, but generally <laughs> it is the children. Yeah. So when we are able to get the woman, we've got, we, we, the half of the work is done. It's done. But it is how to reorient our minds. Okay. That we need to balance. We need, we need to balance the housework. Mm. We are not saying we won't do the housework. Okay. Because yes, the man is the head of the house, but we are the, we run the small matters, yeah. uh, which is the house and the children. We leave the men to do the so-called big business and yeah. looking at what Trump is doing in his country and what is happening <laughs> in Afghanistan. Mm. But we are the ones who we are the engineers of the home. Okay. So when, even when we get the woman, the workers have done. Nice one. So, so then now on to the main activities of the project. Do you have any calendar that we're fo fo focusing on? Do we have, what, what exactly should we expect as well? And what should we do as citizens? Okay. Um, the project actually started last November. There were okay. quite a number of activities that we do. The Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative, okay. um, we, our focal area is human rights generally. That's why we are collaborating with right. Shraj. Mm -hmm. And we work on access to justice, access to information, and general human rights monitoring. Okay. And that is the human rights monitoring is where this falls under. And okay. we are collaborating with other um, institutions like the African Center for Sustainable Development. Okay. Yeah that is also working with us on this. And we started with um, um, a focus group discussion in, the region, in three regions okay. to find out um, the level of um, people's understanding when we talk about women's rights, what yeah. people see it to be, and what the challenges are. Mm. So out of that, we started doing a bit of education. So what we did is we had um, workshops for women in Tamale, mm. Kumasi, and we also had um, forums, okay. public forums, where okay. traditional leaders, mm. and we engaged them, we educated them on women's rights. Okay. We also had um, workshops with police, because you see, right. when it comes to people enjoying their rights, it is the police that are supposed to ensure that when women, their rights are being ab abused yeah. in areas of domestic violence, exactly. the way, the first point of contact will be with the, the police, police, and the exactly. way the police handle them mm. would ensure that their rights are respected yeah. so they need to have an understanding that women's rights are human rights indeed and there's a way of handling some of these issues okay. so basically that's what we've had and then there's this public education that we are is going on, on right um, on radio on tv Television like we're doing well. now, yes, yeah. now and then we also intend to 
do other activities like public forums. Mm. We intend to next year we intend to do um documentaries okay right yes. and um jingles okay in collaboration with all the just other just for the general edu education education as because well. it's awareness creation it's people are educated they understand the issues they better. appreciate the issues That's true. it is better mm. and then you get the support of the men because sometimes the men think that the women are in competition with them that is true but we just that want their support so that all of us together we can build a better, a better nation, nation for all of us. Very well said. Uh, Nana, can you um, help us with uh, some concluding remarks as well, something for our viewers to take home? What we want is respect. Okay. Really, what we want is respect. We are not in competition with anyone. Mm -hmm. we, when God created the earth, he said he had created man in his own image, mm. and that was inclusive women. Yeah, exactly. And God has given us all the same brains, <laughs> the different <laughs> that talents cuts across. Yeah. So just give us a due. Mm. Just respect us, and we also respect back. Yeah. Really, that is what that is what we want. And so, if your girl child or your sister has that ability, push it. Yeah. Exactly. Just push it to the highest level that she can she she can go. Mm. Because what men can do, as we say, women well, can do. do. Better, better as well better, because yeah. after all we have that maternal instinct as with well. us anyway, anyway yes. that is true so we see all the great spots <laughs> that men don't see yeah so just push us so it's, it's, it's good that we all work together, together. it's not yeah. a competition not not at indeed all. thank you so much miss mina mensa head of africa office for the commonwealth human rights initiative mm -hmm. as well as nana yamfua uh, Amwa Sechi, uh, Director of Public Education here at Shiraj. We've been talking about promoting equal rights and economic empowerment uh, for women in Ghana, and uh, the project is ongoing as well. And we hope that you would also you know, be a part of this to brighten the corner where you are. Treat women equally and with respect because we all have the same abilities as well.